Hey, hey, what's up everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. So my friends, we're gonna be taking a look at my new semi for the RC construction vehicles. You know, I needed a way to transport the equipment to and from the job site, and so I decided to get a semi truck for this. Now, I really wanted, wanted the Tamiya 114 scale semi, but they are extremely outrageous on the price. Like the lowest kit I found was $450. That did not include electronics, so you're gonna spend another $200 in electronics. Then you're gonna need the light and sound kit, that's another $200. Then you're gonna need the hookup for it so you can carry a trailer around. That's another $150 to $200, I think. And then the trailer alone is about $600. I was like, wow, that's a pretty, pretty little hefty price there to have a semi uh, truck and trailer there. But I came across this one right here. This is from Diecast Masters. This is a 1 16th scale radio control semi. This is the Freightliner Cassidy. Cassidy, I hope I said it. Cassidy. I hope I said that right. I probably butchered the crap out of the name. And uh, I'm sorry about that. There's some words I can say and some words I can't say. I do have a little bit of a speech impediment, if you could not you know, tell. Uh, but I do kind of slur my words a little bit. But anyway, let's take a look at this. Look how beautiful this truck is. Lots of amazing detail in it. So let's take a look at the front. All right, so we have our, uh, our mirrors right there, the grill. The vehicle does have a full light and sound unit on it. So we have lights up here in the markers. We have our headlights, our turn signals. We got some fog lights as well. Also in the rear of the vehicle, you got some, some lights right there, a reverse light and brake lights there. Now check out the interior is very gorgeous. Even has a little bed in the back of in the sleeper cab there amazing i'm trying to get y'all up there as close as i possibly can with the camera so you can see how amazing that interior is uh, we got the mirrors right there now flip it over to the back here we got this little fan on the back of it a little bar right there tilt it and as you could probably see there's a servo wire hanging what does that go to well that goes to the hitch part where you can actually lock and unlock your trailer from the truck and it's running off uh, of a mini servo. I'm trying to get y'all up there. All right. So that is really cool. Now, there are two little holes right here by the servo. If you can see those, try to get y'all up there. Now, those are actually for the trailers that Diecast Master is going to be making. Now, they were actually supposed to come out with trailers this year of 2021, but due to COVA, they had to push it back, and uh, it'll be out in December of 2021. The trailers will be in China in October, but won't come to the U.S. until December of 2021. So let you know that Diecast Masters will be making trailers. I have seen the Low Boy trailer. I haven't seen any other type of control, uh, trailers for it yet, just the Low Boy one. And they also are coming out with another semi truck, the, I think it's the Winston or Western Star X49 semi, uh, which looks pretty awesome. Now, this is a complete RTR vehicle. It comes with everything. And when I say everything, it comes with everything with this vehicle. It comes with the batteries for the remote, comes with batteries for the controller, comes with the charger. So yeah, all right, so let's show the battery and charger. So you got the USB charger right there. Might not have to use that. Then we have our battery right here, which is a 7.4 2000 milliamp LiPo battery. I get confused with these batteries because some are saying they're LiPo, some saying that they are lithium ion. I don't really know, but if uh, if y'all might, cause I mean, in the manual it says LiPo, but I'm not exactly sure. I don't. <laughs> All right, so. Talk about the controller. Look at this. It's a nice 2.4 gigahertz controller. Looks like a like a knockoff version of a Xbox controller, like one of those off-brand ones. 
Now, I do also want to point this out that I probably didn't mention that, that this vehicle is portional drive, meaning you can adjust the throttling of it. So you can go fast, you can go slow, you can turn left and right with it. So all of that is portional, portional, uh, <laughs> I probably screwed that up too. But anyway, you can control the vehicle speed just like a normal hobby grade RC. So that's really awesome that you can do that. Uh, so yeah, so back to the controller here. So we got a lot of buttons here that operates this thing, all right? Now the controller takes two AA batteries, which is sin. Now you're probably know, wondering why the lid is off. Uh, you know, with these lids right here, they do have these little screw holes where they have screws right in there. Usually I take them out because it's just a hassle trying to change out the batteries and stuff like that. But uh, this one won't stay, so I have to put the screw back in there. But anyway, so take a look at it. So on our left stick is our throttling. So we you know go up, go forward, back. <clears throat> nothing goes this way, nothing like that, just up and down. Over here on your right stick is your left and right. And I don't think anything else does on that part right there. Talk about these two buttons right here. These two buttons right here are reserve buttons for the trailers once they are released. Uh, Cause I think they can, you can remotely do something with the trailer. I think with the, with the low boy, you can actually drop the trailer down, let your, you know, whatever get onto the trailer and then it picks it back up. That's what I, you know, I've seen. All right. So I want to make sure because, uh, you know, I've only messed with this vehicle once or twice. So let me make sure that I do this right. And I'm going to do it by the instructions here, which is valuable information in this thing right here. All right. So we covered the joysticks. All right, so we have this button right here, this button right here, that does the lights on the vehicle. Uh, you do three clicks, it's three clicks. So one click will be to turn the headlights on. Two clicks turns on the low beams or the high beams, you wanna say. And then three clicks turns on the top marker lights there. Uh, this button over here does the sound. Now, these two buttons right here in the middle. Now, to even start this up, this vehicle, you have to hit this button right here, and it will start up the engine sound. That's what I see on there. That's what I have done too. So that starts the engine sound, turns you know the, uh, the engine sound off, and yes. So it actually says in there, 7.4 volt, 2,000 milliamp lipo battery. I'll put his five point vo V one to two amps. So yeah. All right. <laughs> so I say we go ahead and pop a battery in it and uh, try it out here in the workstation and then maybe outside. We'll see. All right. So let me go ahead and pop the batteries in there and we'll get to it. All right. So the batteries are installed. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Very nice sound, I have to say. So, all right, let's, we got our blinker sound, which turns on when you're turning. So the sound shuts off on the, the engine sound sh shuts off. I don't really like that factor that this doing that, but anyway, it's all right. seeing is that when you turn the turn signals come on and the motor sound shuts off also I'm thinking that they have some issues there in the motor sound if it sounds like the motor sounds are reversed if it sounds like that uh, the forward motion is the island speed or the island sound and then the idling sounds like the go fast part I don't know let's watch this that sounds like a go, you know, like the vehicle's moving. If 
you push up, that should be the aisling sound. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of disappointing. It's such a beautiful model. Why would they do that? Uh, that part I don't really know right there. But anyway, now these this controller is a little sticky or a little uh, a little stiff right there. But we do it like that. All right, turn. Try not to fall off the side here. All right, let's turn that sound back on so you can hear. I don't know. That just gets me right Back it up. sound off try to push it we got only so much room right here to work with all right so turn our lights on so we got our low beams there we got the top lights on yeah they're all there so there's the fog lights the top light marker lights and our headlights are on, I just could not see it. So let's, let's move the camera over just a little bit so we can see this. All right, and let's turn off some lights too while we're at it so we can see. <laughs> All right. So we got our lights there. All right, lights completely off. Turn signals work when the lights are completely off. Headlights, fog lights, marker lights. So there we go. Let's turn some lights back on so we can see. Boom. Boom. And bam. All right. And we'll fix the camera a little bit. Now, like I said, or if I didn't say, this vehicle is only two wheel drive. So. It would have been nice if they made this four wheel drive, which the Western Star X49 is the four wheel drive version that's coming out. That's also out with the 16 scale uh, dump truck they have, which I did have that one for a brief period, but I had a little issue with it, so I had to send it back. But anyway. Now you're probably asking, well, what are you going to use a trailer for if they don't have a trailer for it yet? Well, I have come up with a thing for that. All right, I'm going to pull this up here a little bit. So I recently saw this in a video where a guy made a trailer from one of the Bruder uh, vehicles. And it's a 1 16th scale trailer. So take a look at it. Back up. So, yeah. So 
there you go. So that'll be my trailer for the vehicles. So it's 1 16th, it works. So if we grab one of the RCs, one of the construction vehicles, There you go. So not a bad, I'm gonna take the camera off there. So not bad looking actually, almost kind of, almost matches, you wanna say? All right, my friends, so thank y'all again for watching and I will see y'all later.